people keep sending me this and it's pretty cool. For every number above nine, if you take away the value of the individual digits from that number, what you're left with is always divisible by nine. So 12 minus one minus two equals nine, which is divisible by nine. 23 minus two minus three equals 18 which is divisible by 9, or 197 minus 1 minus 9 minus 7 equals 180, which is divisible by 9. I could go on, but I won't. I only found that out yesterday, and it blew my mind. Now, if your first instinct is to search for a number that this doesn't work for, you're not on your own, because the comments are full of, aha, what about this number? Followed by someone doing the maths wrong. But as suspicious as it might seem, it's true. And there's a beautiful little proof which should convince us. Let's just think about two digit numbers. We'll call the tens digit A and the units digit B. That way they can stand in for any digits. A is for any number and B is for blank for your own choice of number. So any two digit number will be 10 lots of A plus B, right? For example, in the number 42, A is four and B is two. 10 times four is 40 plus two gives 42. Now let's take this generic two digit number, 10A plus B, and subtract the individual digits A and B. That gives us 10A plus B minus A minus B. So a little bit of algebra to clean this up. We're just gonna rearrange it so the A terms are together and the B terms are together. 10A minus A is 9A and B minus B is zero. So after subtracting the individual digits from our generic two digit number, we're left with 9A. That means nine times A. And if we multiply any number by nine, the answer must be divisible by nine. Now we write QED, which stands for quad error demonstrandum and it means we've successfully proven what we set out to prove it's basically a mathematical mic drop so it's true for all two digit numbers and we could use a similar proof to show that it's true for any digit numbers an extra little nine tip before I go let's say we try this out on 572 so we take away the digits 572 take away 5 take away 7 take away 2 is 558 which must be divisible by 9 now I don't know about you but I didn't learn my nine times tables that high how can we tell it's divisible by nine without a calculator. Well, if we add the digits and keep adding until we get a single digit, if that digit is nine, then the number is divisible by nine. Let's try, five plus five plus eight is 18. You might already know that's divisible by nine, but let's just add again to be sure. One plus eight is indeed nine. So five, five, eight is divisible by nine, just as we proved it would be. Excellent. That's a Roman numeral joke.